All right, everybody, we're going to get started right on time. Happy Friday. We made it. Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Sky Command. I am a brand new streamer on Twitch and on YouTube. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Hope you're having a great time. Had a fantastic week at work. Um, got a lot done. Got some congratulations from the bosses. And now it's Friday. We're getting ready to fly some planes. Um, very excited to be here today. Hope you're having a good one. Let me know in the chat if you're here today, if you're vibing, what you're up to, what you're flying, what you're doing this weekend. I, for one, am very excited. We have a lot happening because Microsoft Flight Sim is dropped, obviously. That's why we're we're doing the thing. Anyway, here's what we got in store today. So we're going to try the landing challenge. Just dry. Just It's an aircraft I've never flown before. We're just going to get in and see if we can hit the landing challenge. Someone posted on Reddit today the world record, which is it was like almost short of two mil. It's, just, it's measured in points, obviously, right? So we're going to try and crack a million. That's pretty aggressive. We're going to practice it, see if we can hit a million, see if we can do any better. But part of that chat is me getting used to the plane. It's getting used to a plane in a very short landing, right? So... A lot of it is going to be just figuring out what the good landing speed is, getting a good vertical or getting a good glide scope slope. Excuse me. English is hard today. It's Friday. I'm excited. Who cares? Um, getting used to the glide slope, trying to hit the brakes right on time. Um, and of course, I'm doing all that without my throttle quadrant. As you can see here, it's it's I've got it here, but it's not the USB version. So waiting for Honeycomb Aeronautical to drop their new throttle quadrant. And you'll see that bad boy right next to this. Um, and speaking of which, on September 1st, too, it looks like we're going to be pre-ordering a ton of things. Um, let's get you in here. Hey, you can type in chat right here to my left, too. You'll see yourself right in there. Hey, thank you, Nuss, for hosting me. I really appreciate you. Welcome to the stream, bud. Um, type in chat. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what's up. I definitely love talking to you guys. Definitely love to get to know my viewers. And it's it's flight sim. So, like, honestly, once we get to the airliners and once we get to anything that has an autopilot, we're going to be messing with the camera, too. Oh, which reminds me, before we start today, this stream is going to be very practical. We're going to learn how to play this together, okay? We are going to be messing with the external cam and the drone cam. And rumor has it, if you connect an Xbox controller to this thing, it's even easier. But I've already got the sim booted and the stream is already going, so I don't really want to rock the boat. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do is... Ah, I'm not sure. You know what? We'll deal with, we'll, we'll deal with the drone cam later. Um, we'll, lift, we'll, we'll stick with right click mousing and the drone cam. We'll, we'll see all that stuff in there later. Um, but, um, if we nail it, if we hit our goal for some reason within our, you know, we're going to try and, and stream for a bit, but if we hit our goal within, you know, within range of like a mil, you know, if we get close enough and we can't do any better, we're going to do our first bush flight. Um, I already checked one out and it's pretty straightforward. So but I'm going to be using all the guides, all the heads up that I can use because, again, we're learning bushcraft or bush aircraft. And we're also going to be learning how to do these bushcraft flights with, 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 um, within Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Sim. So lots of stuff we can be doing today. Let me know in the chat how are you are doing. I'm going to be harassing you guys all day long. Um, okay. With that in mind. Let's get started here. And I want to make sure that you guys have time, or not time, but actually have sound. So what we'll do is uh, we'll kill the music right now. Oh, there it is. All inspirational and stuff. Sounds so good. Have you had a ever had a dream that that <laughs> all right let's fly some plane as you can see I have my track IR I have my honeycomb flight stick we're gonna be flying a lot of plane we're gonna be crashing a lot of plane mostly we're gonna be learning so I should call this a learning practice stream we're gonna get good together hopefully you enjoy it hopefully you learn something hopefully you learn what not to do that's certainly how I've learned I've just learned by not doing, or not by doing poorly, I should say. Hey, what's up, Nuss? Appreciate you. My lone Twitch viewer, thank you for hosting again. Really appreciate you. Absolute champion. 
I wonder where my people are. <coughs> I want to know where the people are. Be right back while this loads. Try not to drink or vape on stream anymore. It's a bad look. Got deep into the skateboarding vids. Hey, Yeah, I was watching them on uh, Snap. I can't wait for that game to drop. Oh, by the way, you can only play the demo if you pre-ordered it. I mean, I'm not going to pre-order the game. Unless you know the, the glitch on how to play the demo without pre-ordering. Let me know. Bow wow. Music is so serene. <coughs> also, chat, I installed this game on... Um... It's Tony Hawk. <laughs> no, 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 no. Unless you have the plug on how to download it. How can I download the, uh, the demo before I, uh, pre-ordered the game, though? That's what I'm curious about. Anywho, here is the landing challenge in the the DR four hundred one hundred cadet. Interesting. Oh, you can't womp 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 womp. Got a pre-order, and then you can play the demo. Well. I'll just live vicariously through. That means you gotta keep streaming it for me, Ness. Alright, what do we got ahead of us? Uh, let me read the event for you guys. <clears throat> also, so that, do you see this, uh, this world record got set today? 1907904. Looks like everyone can get double this. So that's why I'm saying, like, let's get a, let's aim for, like, maybe I need to be a little bit more modest. Let's aim for like 750,000 on the score points. And I'm talking about score, and I literally haven't even read this yet. <clears throat> so let's see what we're dealing with. For the next two weeks, compete in a new time limited landing challenge to reach the top of the leaderboard. Korshevel, I'm going to say that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that's Korshevel. Korshevel, Korshevel, don't know how to say that. Let me know. Korshevel Altaport is serving Korshevel, a ski resort in the French Alps. The airfield has a very short runway. There is no go-around procedure for landings at Korshevel due to the surrounding mountainous terrain. You s due to the surrounding mountainous terrain. So we are going to be restarting a lot. A lot. Okay, so like I said, first couple times we're just going to be learning the plane, learning how to do the thing, just getting the the plane onto the ground. Um, we're not going to aim so much for points. We're going to get a feel for the plane, and then we'll go for some points. Also, I bumped the stats, the uh, the graphics up to high end instead of medium, and we'll see how that does on stream. If it suffers with the track IR and doing all that stuff, we'll bump it back down to medium. I might even go low for the frames if we end up getting sweaty. We'll see. Anywho, how's your Friday? Hope you're looking forward to the weekend. It's a little smoky here in California due to the fires up north. Shout out to all my Northern Californian people. I hope you guys are doing okay. My folks live up north too. I checked in with them. They seem to be all right. Here we go. Did you see how quickly that loaded? That's that new M2 drive, baby. Already hit the frame rate. Oh. Oh, we're in the plane. Okay. Okay. Where is the airport? Where is the airport? It helps if you know where the airport is. Vodka lemonade. That sounds good. Wait, timeout. Where's the runway? Oh, is that it right there? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Oh God. Hope my gears are down. No way for me to check. We're just gonna go for it. Fuck it. There's the runway. Too low, of course. Scraping some trees. Oh, floated the runway. No, absolutely choked the end. Well, we put it down first try, but yikes. Oh, dear. Okay, landing smoothness is a thousand feet per minute. Really, really bad. 38 feet ground roll, landing precision is not very good. Okay. Let's run it back. Chill Friday so far. Yup, absolutely. That's a pretty straightforward landing challenge. I think we can do better than that. Um, vodka limeade, actually. Not lemonade. Vodka limeade. Damn, that sounds good. Is this a homemade recipe or are you just, you just winging it? What's in it? Let's run that back. Also, I need to not sink in my seat when I'm flying. So let's move the microphone out of the way. Time to get sweaty. Simple lime. So it's like a gimlet. What's in a gimlet? Instead of so it's a gimlet but with vodka. All right, here we go. There's the runway. Start to reduce that power, baby. sit properly, you know what I mean? I can actually give myself much more of a straight end too. Like, look how much room I have to my, my left over here. Do you see all that? Like, I'm just not utilizing that. That might be pretty good. Give me the brakes, baby. Give me the brakes. Ooh. Ooh. Chat. Chat. Yo. We're. Yo. Yeah, we're already, we're close to top 25,000 in the world. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see how my friends did. I have no friends. 
Yo. Yes. We can easily break the million. Do you know how, how good that felt? And I had so much room, too, to go left. Yo. Yo. That was, that was what? Second try? Second try right quick? Okay, that was second try, all right? Track IR, baby, okay? I've got the intel. I've got the, I've got the honeycomb. If I had a throttle quadrant, it'd be over for these hoes. Yo, I'm still using F1, F2, F3. Bring it wide left. Yep, absolutely right. All right, let me, let me do, let me, let me. Whew, yo, yo, we out here. I don't know. What if that was peak? <sighs> He's in like woo, ee, woo, ooh. I don't know. What was that? What if that was peak performance? I'm so nervous now. Shit. Now I gotta go sweaty chat. Sorry. I can't talk through this one. I'm going in. Gotta go wide. Pop a blue chew. Let's go. So remember, I can bring it wide. train myself to go wider. Still wider, still wider, Sky. Ended way too hard at the end. F word. Ah. Yeah, no, I landed way too hard. What was that? Yeah, I landed way too hard at the end. Six feet. Six feet landing precision. Let's go. That's what saved me. Ground roll could have been better. It's the landing smoothness. See? Now I've just got to stick it. I've just got to stick the landing. I don't know how I'm going to do better, though. Oh. The landing precision was within six feet. That's definitely my best. Those trees, dude, at the end. Oh, oh my God, I'm so scared. So scared. Landing smoothness. So the goal is to land. I mean, it's supposed to be like, like 250 feet per minute or something like that, right? Or 100 feet per minute or something like that, right? So about, yeah. So if I were to, if I call this 600, right? And we're about the halfway mark. Well, see, that's the thing. It's it's not even about how low I can go. My my angle of descent is fine, right? As long as I hit the 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 blue zone, right? It's about how I hit that blue zone. I can come like this, like straight down at it, and if I can curve at the end and just barely kiss the ground, that's still a very smooth landing. What I want to aim for is a much more angled pattern, right? So I'm just straight in, so I can just coast. That's why I need to go wide out, right? So if I go wide out. I can have a much greater time focusing on just being straight and level and easing my rate of descent, right? To get that feet per minute to under 100 and butter it down, right? So the goal is to like just very kiss it 
and be slow enough. And I'm also going still, I'm still going pretty fast, right? So what I need to do is probably slow it down. My ground roll is 25 feet, which is not good, right? I need to somehow come in very, very slow, which means I can probably land slow. Anywho, we're going right back the fuck in. No, not the next activity. Restart that bit. Okay, goal is to crack 750. That was the original goal that I lowered it to, but I can do that. Love to talk to you guys, but I'm going sweaty. See right now? Actually, I can talk to you guys. It's not that serious. Because it's just short final. Um... So right now I'm trying to keep it to about a thousand feet per minute. You can see the VSI right there. Still trying to take it wider than I need to. Trying to keep it to around... Oh, shit, 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 shit. That wasn't good. There we go. Trying to keep the speed to about 200 miles per hour. Trying to keep the rate of descent to about a thousand. Trying to keep it wide. And see if I had to, I have my right hand on the throttle, my left hand on the joystick. So if I had to look around and shit, I'd have to like mouse around. That's not very good. Still going to take her wide. Loving my rate of descent. Loving my speed right now. Still going to, I still want to go wide. 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 Go wide, Sky. Go wide. Here we go. Good rate of descent. Good speed, baby. Good speed. Here we go. Here's the turn and I'm still wide. Here's the turn. A little bit slow descent, a little bit slow on speed. That's fine. That's fine. I'd rather slow down. Yep. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I like it. Yes. Oh, a little bit too low. Here we go. A little bit of an overshoot. That's fine. I can correct and worry about speed from here on out. Right? So I can decrease my speed. Let's see? Bleed off that speed, baby. Bleed off that speed, baby. Beat off that speed. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Just cut off. Touchdown, baby. Come on. Give me. Come on. Hit the brakes. 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 Oh! Let's go! Let's go! I don't care if I'm not in frame right now. Give me some hype. Yo! Hey! We're all the way out here. Are you kidding me? Hey! Did you see how... Yup, smoothing it out right at the end. Okay, right? And I talked through that. Yo, bro, come on. Give me my endorsement. Landing smoothness was 250... It's 238. Okay, so I need to get the bar to the right. Okay, so I need to be within 100 feet. That's great. Landing precision was 60 feet. Do you see how it wasn't as good? That landing precision, 6 feet, was re is... Re Listen, I'm, I'm off by a factor of 10 on the landing precision. I had 6 feet. Like, I'm never going to get 6 feet again. Maybe. Ground roll, 44 feet, is fine. But apparently, I see... The thing is, I can go much slower. Apparently, I can go much, much slower. But, guys... There's the 750 bar by 100,000 right there. We're top 25,000 in the world. Yo. Should we try it again? Crack a milli? Can we actually do it? I don't know. Woo! If you're not with me, you're with me. No, 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 no. I didn't hit a mill. No, I didn't hit a mill. No, I didn't hit a mill. But I remember, my I, I said my soft goal was 750 because I was like, people are not... Look, there's millions of people playing right now, okay? We, we're 23,000 already just off of three landings. I mean, it would be ill to crack a million. Did we go soft? Nah, 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 nah. Chill, chill, chill. Do we go soft? No, we don't. We go in, we go hard, let's go. All right, we out here. Okay, gotta crack a milli. The grind for a milli. In fact, I gotta pop off on my in my Discord.
Yo, know, legit, I had to pop off in my own Discord really quick. Let's go. Three landings in, and I don't even have a throttle quadrant. Okay, I'm using F1, F2, F3 as my throttle. Come on, I'm at a disadvantage, and I'm still putting up numbers. Let's freaking go, chat. Friday, okay? We vibing. Logitech, what up, baby? Did you see that? What's your... I need to know what your high is. You're probably 1.5. What's your high on the landing challenge, Logitech? I also need more frames. I need more... G you know what? I'm cheesing it. I'm bumping it down to medium. I'm getting more frames out of the deal. Sorry if you can hear that. I have to adjust my mic. So chat, there's the proof right there. On high end, global high end. So I'm, I'm rocking a... Uh, I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM. Using a uh, Intel i7 9 change or something like that or other, or 8700, excuse me, uh, and a GTX 1080. Pushed about, I don't know, I have to guess, I don't I, I don't have fraps up. Go into medium, see if I can cheese, cheese the frames right quick. And chat, the only reason why I don't go to 1080 on my resolution, on my global resolution, is because it literally doesn't, it looks unacceptable on stream. I watched it, it... I couldn't do it to you. I actually love you guys too much. All one of you. All two of you, actually. Here we go. We're going back in, baby. Crack, trying to crack the milli. They done did it to me. The world record is 1-9. I'm just trying to crack one. I'm not going for world record. Just trying to crack one. If I had a throttle quadrant, it'd be over for these hoes. And that's the French spelling. H-E-A-U-X. B. Z. H. Here we go. You know I had to bump that bitch down to low. Or medium. Here we go, here we go. Damn, did you see how quick that loaded too? Holy frame drop, it's fine. Alright, so again. It's just gonna take her wide. Whoa. Wait. Why does it look so different? Am I bugging right now? Why does it look... Oh, I mean, it might be the settings, but, you know. Let's lower the power. It's getting to some low flight. So what you really need to do is slow her down. This is not a very good one. But I can always salvage it. This didn't go nearly as wide as I needed to. But I'm just like YOLO. No, don't like that one. Let's restart. No good. I was forcing it. Trying to crack a million. That's not a million run. Here we go. So, I've just got to go wide. Just got to be okay with going wide. That's my one fear. I just feel like I'm going to crash into the side of the freaking mountain. I mean, we're still descending. The descent profile is fine. I have no... I should... I don't know why I'm fighting the aircraft. There's the airport right there. We need to descend just a touch. 
We'll keep it. I'm going to try and keep it to about a thousand feet per minute. Let's back off the throttle. Means the nose is going to want to dip. Still going to stay wide. And trim up. Trim up some more. We're sub 200. That's fine. Rate of descent is about where I want it. Still, I keep turning in. Do you see that habit? I'm going to fight this habit right now and just stay locked onto the airport. There's my rate of descent that I like. See if we can slow it down even more. I'll let the nose dip. Still, I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight the urge. I'm going to fight the urge. I'm going to fight the urge. Turning in. There we go. We're nice and slow. I'm going to trim up just a touch here. There we go. Overturn. That's fine. I like to come from this angle. Pause. Phrasing all that. Trimming up like fucking crazy. There we go. Reset my view. Okay. This is a good one, baby. This is a good one. Hold on. Ooh. No, I just wanted to land in the zone too much. I was going slow enough. Yeah, no, no good. 761, landing precision. That's what I ended up sacrificing myself for. Sacrificing myself for the ground roll. The smoothness, two out of three, no good. No good, we're running it back. Gotta get all three, not two out of three. Okay, I'm gonna try not to talk through this one so much, but y'all here with me, right? Here we go. Starting my slow turn. Okay, not so slow anymore. stall her out. Okay. It's a good one. It's the ground roll. Oh, man. So close, chat. The ground roll. I can come in way slower. I'm, I'm too afraid to stall. You heard I stalled over the threshold and I gave it. Oh, man. So many things happen right there. I need a throttle quadrant, chat. Should I throw up like a dono thing and like help a brother out or something? Like, man, I don't want to spend the 60 to just get one temporarily, though. Ah. Uh... Chat. <laughs> chat. Chat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. So 49 feet, which is fine. I can, you know, my best was six. Uh, this is my best landing smoothness at 229, which means I can be even buttery smooth somehow. Um, but I'm really happy with these numbers right now. We're we're top. We're almost about to crap top top fifteen thousand sim pilots in the world. What? Let's go. There's millions of people playing right now. Legitly, probably not all trying the landing challenge, but I can't even see the bottom. These guys are monsters. See, like the threshold to even rank here is one. Eight. I these guys these guys are literally performing double my performance right now. The top performances are about twice as good as me, which means the ground roll on margin is all of this we can cut in half, right? So we'll call this fifty feet. So they're landing within twenty five. They're landing within twenty. They're landing within uh one fifteen. One fifteen. Oh my goodness. I mean, the book says 100. So basically, you need piss-perfect landing. And you need to be going so slow that you have no ground roll. You're basically like a bushcraft. And then the landing precision, you've got to hit it on the dot. Chat, can we crack a milli? I mean, we're way up like... This is getting into the feasibility range. Here, chat. I might need to pop a Capri Sun right quick. Can I can I Capri Sun break right quick? I'm gonna leave this up though. Hold on. I'm gonna leave this number up just in case anyone's checking it out. If you are watching the stream and you're just hanging out, I just cracked a nine nine hundred K. Um first one was eight thirty. Second one wasn't as good, right? Then I cracked 850. Now we're at 930. Trying to crack a million on stream. I don't have a throttle wor a working throttle quadrant, but I do have track IR and a honeycomb, which I are are amazing right now. Are honestly amazing. Um, I'm about to uh, crack a performance enhancing drug. Hashtag non sponsored. We'll see if this does anything. Chad, I need you here with me. I need you here with me. Can we crack a milli? Can someone please in my stream say like they, they did a 1-5 in their sleep? Millionaires Club in my chat, let me know. Illuminati. Ooh, right? Look at the score. Now that I think about it, nine three four nine eight four. <coughs> Yo, all right. So I got to get a buttery smooth landing. Got to chill on the ground roll. Got to chill on the ground roll, and then I mean, my landing precision. Look at that; it's consistently like I'm eyeballing where I need to land very, very well. So I don't need to change that. What I need to focus on is. Landing smooth and killing the ground roll, right? Apparently 40 feet is unacceptable, so I need to be coming in much slower. All right, here we go. Let's run it back. I'm absolutely not talking to you guys for this one. I'm going to be a bad streamer. I can't abandon you guys. Let's go. Getting in my my MLG position. Let's go. <clears throat> when, you, when I mean, when they say, "Are you ready to fly?" They really mean, "You ready to fly?" Because as soon as you kick, click this button, you're about to be out here. Here we go.
Let's just slow down. Let's just slow down. Right? Why why do we need to Why do we need to land that fast? Right? Like you look at the look at the white zone. And it stalled at like at a hundred, right? So we'll keep it at like this speed. Oh god, we're sinking like a stone though. There we go. That's better. I wanna keep it at a manage like a thousand feet per minute. And keep it at this speed right here. Whatever this is. Fight my habit from turning in. Just a little bit of power. I'm watching my VSI as well. Hmm, 25 feet. Ground roll, I ran 100 feet? Oh, that was the million run. 100 feet, I don't know why I, why I rolled, so, I mean, that was the roll. I mean, that was the one. Damn, that was the one. Look at my landing smoothness. Yo, 68 feet per minute. My ground roll screwed me up. Ah. <sighs> why did I roll so far? What? And that's it's so funny because that was honestly a throwaway landing. I was just like, let's just try something different, you know? Like Ah, the ground roll though. The ground roll. Why did I take so long to Alright, run it back. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I mean that means I'm I'm doing the right things. Like I'm I'm doing the right things. Like I don't need to go that fast. I don't need to be at two hundred. I can definitely fly this approach at hundred and fifty comfortably, shut off the speed over the little So, the first thing we're going to do is just slow it down. I'm just going to slow this entire approach down. It's okay, drop the nose. I like my altitude right now. Like, let's just kill the speed. There we go. I'm trying to really slow down here. Let's um. Let's kill the. Um, let's go 500 feet per minute. Very, very fast, but it's 
see if I can lead that speed. way too early and my toe brakes are failing me right now toe brakes are failing me see good good landing smoothness ground roll a little better but no the precision landed way too early uh, I got to tie it together yeah I've got to get all of the things right yep also what's up with toe brakes Just gotta make sure my toe brakes are great. It's not, it's, 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 it's me. I gotta perform, not the equipment, right? It's gotta be me. I fly the plane. The equipment does not fly the plane. Okay, so back to my tactics, right? It's just slow it down. Let's just slow it down. We've decided as a group that we are way too fast. Slowly start meandering over there. I like this speed. Oh my god, if I have to deploy my own flaps, I'm gonna be very angry. Like, I hope this thing has been configured for, for landing. You know what? I'm just gonna press F8. Which I did. Okay, so it is configured for landing. Okay, let me reset my view. Still sinking like a stone, it's fine. Still want to kind of go wide a bit. Now we'll start our turn. Maybe F8 wasn't the button to press. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think F8 is a flaps. <laughs> Whoops. Might be different per aircraft. I'm going to assume that it's con configured for landing because clearly F8 wasn't the flaps. F8 in the F... Uh, in the F... Uh, excuse me, in the S... The C-152 is... is dump, dump all the flaps, so... I'm going to assume we're configured here. All right, back to what we we're doing. So we're just going to slow it down. Also, I think the game remembers your trim settings when you reboot. Just saying. Which could be a problem. Because your trim settings are different for every, every phase of the flight. Trying to bleed off that airspeed. Also trying to ease the amount of back pressure that I need to apply on the yoke.
No good. I hit F1 instead of F2. Ugh. F1 is throttle cutout. And F2 is... Is, um... Reduced throttle. Subtle difference, but you don't need throttle cutout when you're not over the threshold. Whoops! Here we go. Running it back, baby. So, back to the strategy. F2, F2, F2 to slow it down. You can see me doing it, right? You see the throttle pushing in and out right there? So I'm just going to slow it down. And then try to keep the rate of descent at under a thousand feet per minute as I slow down. Got to edge the nose forward just a bit. Just a touch. There's the runway. There's the speed that I'm looking for, which is 175. It's very fast, right? I'm still slowing down 500 feet per minute. That's good for me. A little more throttle. I want to keep it about there. See if we can make a smooth boy. It's enough of a turn. Still need to go wide. No, nope, I'm right over the mountains. Oh, that might have been shallow. I just got to fly the plane, baby. Just fly the plane. Nope. Too much ground roll. Too much ground roll. Damn it. Too much ground roll. Landing precision, 40 feet, and then the smoothness. Oh, my smoothness. Interesting. I landed pretty hard? I thought it flared right at the last minute. Oh. Also, that's not my highest, right? I hope they counted my high. Let's just see what happens really quick if we go to the next activity. I hope they submitted my 9.3. I'm going to be very disappointed if I didn't get the 9.3. Here, let's exit out to the main menu. And let's see what our best is. If it's that, whatever that last one is. Then that'll be really unfortunate. Landing challenge. Do you get to see what your score is? Oh, I guess you don't get to keep your score anywhere. Interesting. Or wait, maybe you only... Hold on. How did you get back to the leaderboards then? Alright, let's put one in. Let's see what it says on the leaderboards. They've got to, that would be one thing to fix, is like to fix, is to put, you got to put your score somewhere. All right, here we go. Also move my keyboard a little bit closer so I don't have to reach anymore.
Feels good so far, 500 feet per minute. It's gonna keep bleeding airspeed off. Lose some altitude now. Yeah, see, now I'm coming in way too high. Yeah, see how I just get it off the round? So I need to, it's okay, I need to come lower now. It's fine. So I need to be okay with a thousand feet per minute. Need to... Yeah, just need to keep doing my thing. Okay. Alright, so let's talk through it. So right now, we're descending like crazy, like over 2,000 feet per minute. So I want to slow down to about 150 miles per hour. So I need to slow the rate of descent to about 500. Right? And do you see how my speed is just slowly bleeding off? Right? And if I reduce the throttle settings, as you can hear, same thing is starting to happen. So I want to get it to about the one zero, About there. Or I want to get the vertical speed indicator to about 1,000 feet per minute. And then I just want to start angling in while maintaining about a thousand feet per minute is going as slow as possible. Gotta stop slouching. Actually stalling just a bit. I think I put myself into a stall. Yep, not good. <laughs> but going slow. That should that better not be a good score. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucks up landing, casually gets 800k. <laughs> Whoops. Hey. Happy to say it's a bad landing by our standards, right? Like, it's a bad landing by our standards. All right, the grind for a mill continues. Here we go. So, we know our personal best is a 934 then, right? But it doesn't show up anywhere. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, it says there's that nice menu where it was with your friends. Or with and against the leaderboards and, like, where you are, right? And that friendly menu, but... But where is... I mean, it would be sick to go back, right? It would be sick to go back and take a look at the leaderboards to see where you place. Chat, we are all the way out here. Kraken, 800. 900, 934, 984 is the high score. In fact, I need to write that down. 
934, 984, trying to crack a million. It was so close. Apparently, I just got an achievement. Oh, interesting. It says, uh, and I've got a <laughs> casual 800k. It's whatever. No, seriously, that was such a bad landing. Very proud to say we can do better than that. I mean, we've had some very bad ones, right? We've had some 400s. We had some, I think we had a 300. But surprisingly, consistently over 500. Proud to say consistently over 600. 700 is like a good one. 900 being a peak. I could say comfortably if I'm trying, I can get over 600. Like that was such a throwaway landing. That was honestly such like towards the end, I thought I was in a stall. I had to go full power over the threshold, which is never good. If you have to full power over the threshold, something is not right. You should basically like... Once you're at that final final approach, yeah, it's like a curve, but at some point you have to be straight. You should basically be like idle and you're like basically getting ready to stall the plane right at the at the blue zone, which, you know, I'm sure that'll come from hundreds of hundreds of hours of like, oh, I happen to fly this plane or get lucky like I just did. Like somehow I stalled the plane in such a way that I was able to like. I'm not sure if I stalled the plane, actually, now that I think about it, maybe it was just like. I don't know what was happening, but like I was full or m maybe a ground effect. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe it was ground effect because like I got a, a like a savior buff at the end and I pulled I yanked up, got that like to chill on the feet per minute on the descent and got a decent accuracy somehow. I don't know. That was a throwaway 100. Anyway, this achievement says and I get it on my phone because I turn on the notification notifications off because I'm streaming guys. So. It says here, uh, short stuff, landing on a runway shorter than 2,000 feet without using any assistance or bypassing any travel. Sweet. 14.28% of gamers unlock this. Hey, we are part of the 14.28%. Congratulations, chat. We did it, baby. All right. Let me do some off-cam things really quick. Just a quick break. Yo, we phone twins? I have a gold iPhone. I think it's the, the X, whatever the latest one is. Please tell me you have a gold iPhone, Ness. Yeah, that's the one I have. The gold iPhone XS Max. Wait, the Max is the huge one, right? I don't have the huge one. I have the normal one. Or maybe I have huge hands. I can't tell anymore. I don't have the one that's like a tablet in your hand. I have the one that's like just below that, but it's an excess. Oh, you got the big boy? No, 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 dude. See, I can't even fit that thing in my pocket. I need privacy, okay? Like, no way I'm going to have that huge phone. A voicemail. It's spam. Yeah, now that the big boy is, he's way too big. Chat, if you're here, we're grinding for a million on the landing challenge. The peak is 934, 934, 984. Can we crack a million? Because at that point, a million, right? A million, I think, is like... I would say, like, bottom barrel professional level landing, right? Like, you have to really, really get lucky to get a million, right? Because based on mine, like... It's within like 80% of the meters of the bars. So, because I didn't luck my way into nine, 934, at least. At least I hope not. I would like to think that that is skill.
My computer gets so hot when I run flight sim. All right. Couple more tries. Here we go. Let's just hit continue. Oh, interesting. Want to descend at 72 knots. 72 knots. That's we're literally going double, guys. We can descend at 80 knots. Okay, that's the secret. The screen has literally been showing me the cheat codes the entire time. I'm going way too fast. Okay, here we go. Uh, cheat codes. Oh, I see. The green things in there are the knots. You see that? I've been looking at the 150 thing the entire time. Descent profile, but I'm cheesing it at this point. I don't like it. It's going to restart. I'm going for the record, right? It's got to be perfect. Here we go. Descend at 80, landing at 82. Here we go.
Eh. Eh. No good. What? 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 Okay, I had to calculate. All right. Redo. Landing smoothness. Landing precision was what the one that screwed me up. Redo. Also have been flying for like an hour and a half, the same approach. Here we go. Okay, gotta descend, slow down, grab the wall. Like the descent profile so far, okay. Going a little fast, but you know. Way too high. Let's see if we can salvage it. Nope. Way too long. I'm going to grease it, though. A. That was the world's worst landing, but... The ground roll. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Make that make sense? Hey, but I'm very happy though. My poopy landings are doing better than a lot of people, so... Let's go! Run it back! I don't know, hard to keep talking through the same thing, that's for sure. I might need to mix it up and do something else. Might need to, you know, play a different mission, but here we go. The grind for Millie. Whoops. I mean, honestly, eh, it's not the worst thing in the world. I hit F1 again for throttle cut out, but like I need to slow down anyway, so. Is it the worst thing in the world? Not really. Okay. Still wanna go wide. Ah, 
I overshot the landing. I floated her. No. 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 No, 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 no. I floated it at the end. Oh. Okay, we're regressing, chat. We're regressing. This is called flight fatigue. This is where you hit the ILS button, you tune in your radios, and you're like, I'm done. Boop. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got to get back over 500K, though. I can still see you, chat, if you're out here vibing. Sorry for the grind. Got to get a good one in now. Because, like, now I'm just regressing all the way. So I'm just going to fly the plane now. I pulled up too much again. I flared too much. No. Let me rage into that restart. Oh. That's what happens when you flare too much. Because you're trash. Here we go. All right. Descent profile is insane, bro. Can we chill? Also, there's definitely a bug with when you when you hit restart. Like remembers trim settings or something. Oh, am I, am I still going, like, very, very fast? Hold on. How do you pause the sim? Let me see something. I'm landing at, like, 60, 60 knots. Told you this would be a grind stream. Here we go. Running it back right away. Just going for a milli.
good news is I'm getting very familiar with this VFR approach, so let's slow down. Okay, I'm not really slowing down, but I'm descending. I'd rather get the descent profile at this point. Oh, we're sinking. Shed some of that good old speed off. Okay. Here we go. We're going to cut some trees off today, boy. I'm telling you, I'm done. Damn it. Nope. 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 Run it back. Here we go. Last try, and then I'm going to move on to the something else because. Oof. The fatigue is real. Here we go. One more try, baby. Let me know if you believe in chat. Let me know if you believe. I believe. Because I got to go full sweaty for this. I've got to like mash the keyboard for throttle settings too. It's really unfortunate. Can't like feel the throttle, you know what I mean? again yeah it's unfortunate bounced again no good just went bleep right off all right we are going to end the stream with something different we did get 900k the hunt for a million continues we definitely will be grinding that um Gosh, flight fatigue is so real, too. All right. Let's try a different landing challenge then, huh? Let's see what this one is about. Um, hmm. It's a turboprop one. I don't want to chat. I want to wait until I get my new GPU to start hopping into some airliners because those things are GPU intensive AF. 
Let's see what we got though. Let's take a look at the menu. Ooh. Corsival, that's the one we just crushed. Oh, and then I hear people mowing the lawn outside. Sorry about that, chat. What challenges was this? Oh, epic challenges. That's the one we were doing. Corsival is epic. Interesting. Strong wind. That makes me nervous. Sedona with the strong wind? Another 1 8. It's like 2 million is like max, right? It's like computer level landing. Oh, you got 900k on that as well. Hey, place somewhere in the 30,000s. I was like 25,000. I was 934984 was mine. What's up, Stug? Thanks for checking out the stream, bud. Appreciate you guys. Happy Friday. Should I run it back or should I try this uh, windy landing challenge? Because I'm slowly just like, I could see my performance decline like a real pilot would. Pilot fatigue is real. Confirmed. Congratulations on getting 900k stud. Got to breathe for a moment. I've been doing a lot of flying. You know what I mean? It's a lot of approaches. Or a lot of... It is a tough approach, you know? Did anyone see my placement? I hope I clipped it. I got 934, 984, but I don't know where I placed. It was 20... Or is no, it was like 15,000, right? No, oh, I was... I was, you know, 16... It was like 16k in the world just now. With my peak. Which is crazy to think. I'll take top 16k. There's literally millions of people playing this right now. Chat, let me take a quick break. Oh, it's mind blowing how dead nuts on the visuals are. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my goodness. You can actually land VFR, dude. Like, you can actually. And I'm on medium right now, trying to cheese the frames. Medium is acceptable out of the box. Also, let me know if I should run this approach back, or should I do this new one, this windy approach for the for the last little bit of stream. Or not even a little bit, I'm gonna go on for a bit, I just need to take a break. It's so hot in here, my sweaty self flying for an hour and a half. At least let me go get a beverage, I'm gonna wait for you to decide. I'm, I'm reading your, your comments. Be right back.
I don't have the viewership to take a break that long, but it's fine. Oh. Give me a second to get situated here. No response. We back. Had to get the Gatorade out for your boy. Had to be rehydrated. Let's go. All right. So we're going to check out this new one since no one responded, which is all good. Let me know if you are here and just checking me out, chat. Let me know if you're here. I'm going to be doing this new windy landing in Sedona. Cloudy conditions. I don't know what's up. Let's read the challenge. Sedona Airport is a small airport situated on a 500-foot tall mesa in Arizona. High elevation, rugged terrain, cliffs, and unique wind pattern presents pilots with a simultaneous, with simultaneous perils, making this one of the most challenging and most scenic airports in the United States. Cool. Hmm. I say we just get into it. No foreplay. Oh, I see. It's a full ass approach. The stall speed of a Cessna is 40 indicated knots. The music's so motivational. So we're just going to don't expect anything out of this one. We're just going to figure it out. See what's up. See what's going to go wrong. And then we'll put her to her. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, we're. We're in turbulent situation right now. My frame rates have taken an absolute pooper right now. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Could you imagine? You'd be like, Whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah. I remember a YouTube video of like a student pilot freaking out of like weather like this. He was telling the instructor, he was like, uh, do you want to, you could take over at any time. All right. So let's just make sure we're fully configured. Try not to freaking stall. Cause I'd rather get ahead of it. In my, I'm a, if this was real life or maybe if I was like an amateur pilot, which I am, right? I'm not even a licensed pilot. I'd be like, well, let's just get fully configured to land this thing, right? Like, I'm going to give myself plenty of berth. Tilt the nose down. Almost at a 45. I don't want to cheat the turn yet. Oh, dear. She's a feisty one. Can't even imagine getting whipped around like this. All right, there's 45. We're gonna just turn wide. Why are we gaining altitude? Very interesting. Gaining altitude. What's happening? Uh, where'd the airport go? Where did the airport go? Is it over here to our right? What the hell? Did we just get whipped around? Okay, let's try that again. 
Luckily, we're way the hell out here, so it's fine. Go down. Okay, still pretty shallow, interesting. I mean, luckily we're way out here, so we're still beautiful. Still just crabbing over here, don't mind us. Oh. Okay. Here we go. We're trying to get to 65. full power. Come on. Yeah, we're way too low. There we go. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Oh, so low. Too high. Come on, baby. Over the threshold. There's the cutout. Oh god, I forgot that we have to land at the markers. Oh god, I forgot we had to land at the markers. I forgot that this was a landing challenge. <laughs> no. No. No, I forgot that this was a landing challenge. I was like, let me just get to the runway. Epic fail. Oh. Alright, that is something else. That's for real. One more time. That was also really fun. I'm really missing a throttle quadrant though, let me tell you. Okay, here we go. It's honestly really about holding altitude at this point while you're just hanging out. I don't want to climb. Aircraft right a little bit. Oh. Turn a little bit into the wind. Come on. Still going up. Still going up. All right. Let's fully configure here. Okay. 
Wow, this VFR, I mean, flying VFR, man, is... It's, it's, this is amazing. I'm playing on medium settings, guys. Rather be too high than too low. I'm definitely like. I'm gonna go a little bit faster here. It's a strong headwind, my word. Doggy, she's a vixen, boy. I tell you, she's fighting me. Come on, Betsy, get on down now. Get on down now. Come on, baby. Nope, that's no good. Jesus. People got a 1-8 in that thing? Gah. Oh my goodness. Ugh, yeah, we got over half a mil, but... We're top 5,000, let's go, but... Oh my... Oh my lord! I'll take the landing precision, can we talk about it though? I did, I did put the booty down, right on target. Can we talk about that for a second? And let me find out I've been muted or the sound is off or something. You guys couldn't see this the entire time. I'm going to be salted. Let me see. Yep. You guys are getting game audio. Hey. I'll take over half a mil though. For a bad landing. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back. Let's start all the way over. I just wanted to try that one. We're going to start all the way over and start going for our landing challenges. We're just going to start from the beginning. See what we can take. Obviously, skipping over the jetliners. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Famous. Let's see. What's a good turboprop? This is a turboprop, but this is definitely a jet. This is a good prop plane for us that we can play on our GPU, this one, and then we can end with the TBM. Cool, let's see what Chile has to offer. Let's read the landing challenge. Of course, right? Look at these points, like 1-8. Landing the 1-8. All right. Let's read it. Yenada Grande Airport is a small republic or a small small public airfield in the Los Lagos region of Chile. Its small size makes it primarily suitable for small aircraft, and its mountainous locale can turn the approach into a challenge into a challenge for the unprepared pilot. Well, we're definitely unprepared, chat. So let's go stick the landing. Before I continue, though. It is nice to see you all. Happy Friday. My name is Sky Command. If you don't know who I am, I am a gaming streamer on YouTube and Twitch live right now. Happy Friday. Hope you are vibing. If you're checking it out for the first time, make sure you like and subscribe because we are going to be going all night long. I mean, not literally, maybe for a few more hours or an hour or two, but uh, we'll be here trying to stream every day, baby. Trying to stream every day for you guys. Um, let me know if you're enjoying it. Let me know how I can improve the stream. Let me know what you want to see now that Flight Sim has dropped. Obviously, you want to see me get a new flight quadrant, right? Threat chat. You guys definitely want me to, to have that. Um, what else can I say? You can comment, 
you can drop in chat right there. I've got it nice and overlaid for you, so you can say hello. You can let me know how it is going. Let me know if you like it. Um, yeah, we're going to keep it going, though. Here we go. Uh, starting off the famous landing changes. Uh, Yonada Grande. Yonada Grande. We're just going to get into it, see if we can cross a million on anything. Oh, very pretty. You can go 100 in and kill it at 70. Sounds good to me. Hey, what's up, Neo K? Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you, bud. Thanks for checking it out. We're just getting started in the landing challenges. We're all the way out here. Hope you're having a great Friday. We're just going to get into it. Oh boy. And I can't see. I like need to sit a little bit higher. There we go. Got the track eye working pretty good. We're ascending. Why is that? Uh, is this the Garmin? Is this the 175 Garmin? Is my trim wheel... Oh, the trim wheel works in reverse. Okay, there we go. My trim wheel legit is working in reverse. What's happening? Hold on. My trim wheel. Hold on. Have I been using the trim incorrectly this entire time? Am I bugged right now? I'm trim wheeling up. Or down. I'm in a 172, right? I'm not bugged. Alright, here we go. Let's just let's let's just figure out a few things here, because I'm trying to trim. I'm trying to trim down. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, trim wheel is the opposite for some reason. Let me see, where's the trim wheel? Yeah, okay, yeah. No? Okay. Hey, we're just going to shoot this then. Very interesting. Got like a very nose up attitude. What is happening to my trim wheel? I'm going to move the trim wheel all the way up. Guys, I think the trim is bugged. Because I'm like full on. Look. What is happening? Am I getting... Hold on. Am I getting a strong updraft or something? Is that what this is? Am I just getting like a wicked strong updraft? Maybe? Maybe? Did it say anything about an updraft? Uh, I've got winds at four knots, 300 degrees, according to the screen. I don't know. All right, we'll fight. We'll fight. We'll, we'll we'll fight the stick. Normally, you can trim out of that. Start the descent. I'm getting like a wicked strong updraft right now. Like I can barely keep the stick.
Like, get down. I don't get what kind of landing challenge this is, but all right, here we go. Is that my stall speed? What's my stall speed? I'm in the, the white over there. Okay, let's slow her down. Let's slow her down. Let's slow her down now. I am literally like, please, wheel, like, stay down. Five hundred. Oh, God, I'm getting veered. Oh, God. Oh God, what is happening? That's, this is not real life. Look, look at what's happening to my flight stick. Hold on, look, look what happens to my flight stick if I leave it. Look, something's definitely bugged. Hold on, let's reboot. Hold on chat, hold on. Let's regroup here, let's, let's assess. I'm gonna reboot the game. That can't be real. That I've never seen a situation where you can't trim a wheel out of that. That's so strange. Here we go. Let's get some vibes for a second. Let me know how you're doing. Ooh, it's a good chance to get to know you guys. Yay. While I reboot this freaking game. Here we go. Let's kill that. Oh, you guys can still hear that. Now you guys can't. Cool. All right, I'm gonna reboot the game right quick. Just do a quick reboot. See if that is the mission. Cause like what was happening was, like I was like having to force the entire wheel down and I couldn't trim out of that. That's, I've never seen that before. Let me know in the chat, chat, was that, is that part of the landing challenge? Very curious to see. Let me know if anyone's done that one. If you've done that landing challenge too. Does anyone know if any of the landing challenges are bugged? Because I know that there are a lot of bugs in this game right now. For example, I heard that RNAV isn't working on any of the... Uh, on the jetliners. Hey, what's up, Stug? Thanks for the follow, bud. On a different platform, it seems. But let me know if that ch landing challenge is bugged. All right, we're back. That was so strange, right? Can you guys hear the audio okay? Making sure you guys are getting everything. Cool. We back. So we're going to reboot. We're going to go right back into that freaking landing challenge. Want to see what's up? It's like, you should see me. Like, I'm like fighting with the stick. I'm like pushing desperately trying to make sure that it's all the way in. Phrasing, I know, but you know what I'm saying. This game is really good, though. This game is really, really good. It's very addicting. And if this landing challenge is bugged, we'll, we'll just move on. 
Also, it could be my flight stick, but also no, because it's honeycomb. Excuse me. Which it does feel. Oh, oh boy. This just the side to side cleanliness is so good. If you out there, let me know how you doing. If you're vibing. Boom, boom. How somber is this music? I can't. I have no patience for it. That'll be right back. Just waiting for this thing to load. It's just so somber, the music. Oh, I wonder if I can turn it off. All right, we back. A little soft remix to add to that. Let's see if we can turn this off. Hmm. What assists have I been using here? Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say, like, if I really wasn't putting these in here, I'd be very, very upset. Takeoff auto rudder is... should be off. Um, let's see here. Aircraft systems. Yeah, auto mixture because I don't have a thing right now. Unlimited fuel, no. Off. Uh, mid calibration in certain aircraft, no thank you. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I really would like a taxi ribbon. I'm pretty bad at airports. Don't need a landing path. Oh, you can't. You can't turn it off, but you can lower the volume to it. Oh. That's unfortunate. What is user experience? All right, whatever. Um, let's go back. Where was it? General. Toggle the to sound. Music. Bye-bye, music. Oh, you can't turn it off, but you can lower the volume. Oh, that's much better. Cool. Hell, it's vibe then. Oh, yeah. See, now that I've got maximum vibage, you can lower it all the way, though. Hey, you know I did. You know I did. You know I did. You know I did, bud. But the problem is like now I now I gotta pause the music and like I gotta remember to pause the music when I start. All right, so we'll go back into that landing challenge because the only thing that should be famous about it is that it's pretty. It's a short one way. It's 3,600 feet. Right? Here we go. Unless the ground effect is real here. Is that a typo, Sug? Not sure. You like to listen to... Let's listen to what? Also, Stug TV is a sick user. Just saying. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Okay. I think that was a bug. Because I'm no longer fighting. Well, maybe I am. Oh, synth wave, yep. Okay, I do have to fight with a stick, apparently. glide scope or anything so I'm just gonna it says I can cruise at 100 right and then slow down to 70 along this turn here okay starting to reduce some power Got the numbers in my sights. Got to really force this thing down, apparently. This is the challenge. Way too fast. Way too fast. What's my landing speed? 70? Oh my goodness, yeah. 70. Way too fast. Trash. Let's do it again. Uh, synth wave when I'm flying. Had to find a way to turn the game music off. Yeah, see? Alright, so let's try it. Let's see if we can vibe to it. While we grind for this. There's the music. Here we go. And... I've got to press the stick in so far. That's a very uncomfortable position to fly in. Let me tell you. Here we go. Okay, shooting for 100. I just want to know why my... Why would anything be this broken? This is, like, look. It's got to be bugged. No, 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 that's bugged. I refuse. That can't, that can't be a thing. That, that, that's, that, something is wrong with that one. Tap the space bar. <gasps> oh! Stug. My stream and my future YouTube career and my future Twitch career thanks you. Oh, it didn't work that time. Hey. Back to it, though. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. We'll do this one later. We'll go back. We're going to move on. See what this one's about. Nietzsche. I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce that, okay? But I'm going to read it anyways, chat. The Nietzsche Airport is a bustling international airport located 3.2 nautical miles southwest of Nietzsche, French. French? French? That sounds really good, though. Like Fire Ranch, French. <laughs> uh, Nietzsche, France. S um, as the principal port of arrival for visitors to the French Riviera in Monaco, it stands as one of the most spectacular landing sites in the world. The approach isn't especially difficult, but pilots will have to align with 22, 
with runway 22 right and keep parameters stable to touch down in the best conditions. See, that's what I'm talking about. These famous these famous landings, right? There's nothing di- there shouldn't be anything difficult about them. It should just be pretty. So, I don't know what's up with that first one Microsoft. We need to take a look at that one. And also very interesting why the top is only no one's cracked 18 yet out of this one. Is it pronounced Nice? Yeah. I'll take that. Nice. I'm going to say that instead of nice when someone says the magic number. All right. Let's see if this one's bugged, right? Not particularly difficult. 90 all the way in. 79 when we're ready to land. Let's see what happens. Please tell me all these landing challenges are bugged and I'm going to freak the F out. Ooh, that's weird. No vibes. We're back. There's a song that I wanted to listen to, though. Hey, shout out to Ness. This is one one of our favorites. Okay, that scared me. Ooh, Beechcraft Bonanza G36. The first time I've been in one of these. We shall see. What? It just threw me in there? That's fine. First time in this aircraft, by the way. Just for the record. Was it 2 2 right? It was 2 2 right. Honestly, the music is vibes. Very, very beautiful. start to slow it down. I'm just going to keep hoping that I'm configured to land, all right? Because there's our glide slope. Now let's just keep it there. a good descent path. A little low. Oh, I ended up over speeding. God damn it. I just want to grease it at least. Nope. And I just wrecked the plane. <laughs> oh God. Here we go. The struggles. Let's run it back. First time in a Bonanza, by the way. First time flying this thing. But flight manage or excuse me, speed management is essential. 90 knots to 79. That's the problem. Can't overspeed in the first place. And Stug, I think the uh I think we definitely need to leave the music on. Alright, here we go. Nothing particularly landing, uh, challenging about this landing, huh? How about if you've never flown the aircraft before? Slow down. I 
flaps aren't down. Set flaps for landing. What was that warning? Okay. Oh, gear up. Oh, I'm way too low. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just restart. Should we be assuming that the plane is configured for landing? That's what I need to know. That's what I need to know. Do I need to assume that the plane is configured for landing? I guess I can ch I can see, but I'm I'm shooting the final. We're going to see. Let's see. What can we see here? We're at full throttle. The flaps are up. Where's the gear? Sorry, I'm not flying the approach right now. I'm just looking. The landing gear is up. Okay, so very interesting. It is not configured for landing. Okay. Way too high, but who cares? At this point, I'm just trying to figure out the aircraft. Also, my flight stick is doing the thing again. Or just wants to shoot straight up. Is anyone encountering that bug right now? See, look, my, my flight stick wants to... What's happening? I am so confused. What's happening? Let me see. Could be a controller that I have connected. Good point, let me see. Nope, I don't have my Xbox connected. All right, let's assume that it's fully configured for landing, right? We'll worry about speed management and flying the plane. We'll just assume. Which would be weird because we're already going so fast. Slow it down to 90. I am 
way too low. Gotta be, yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Not even starting in the same place. Shouldn't be this difficult to fly. Unless bonanzas are notoriously strugglicious, I'm not sure. Uh, anyone see that propeller glitch right now? Okay, let's slow down. I like going way too fast. Going sweaty chat, sorry. Again, my all of a sudden, my flight stick doesn't want to go down. And I'm flying. Look, this is this is definitely bugged. Definitely bugged. I'm over it. I'm about to rage, guys. Definitely bugged. Something's going on. You guys are seeing it live. All of a sudden, my my wheel or my uh, flight stick just wants to pitch up, and I'm not doing anything. Only adjusting trim. All right. So I'm gonna give it. Let's see. I'll give it one more. One more try. That was a bonanza too. It wasn't even a TBM. Well, screw it. We'll hop in the TBM. I don't know. Music is 100% vibes. Oh my goodness, we've been out here for two and a half hours? What? Okay. Well, appreciate you being out here. It's Friday vibes all the way. We're going to be gone for a little bit more. Trying to figure out what's up with Flight Sim. Track IR is working. My yoke, however... I know, I mean, excuse me. The honeycomb work is, is working as intended. I believe it. I'd rather blame the Sim than the yoke at this point. Oh, whoa. Ooh. You like these frame nopes? And it's a glass cockpit, which means my GPU can't stream this. Sorry, chat. Womp womp. So we will go to the main menu. And we will try the, the the first landing challenge where we first started this stream. We're going to do it one more time. Try and break a milli. See if we can break a million. 
Also, if my if the flight stick does the thing, we'll know that it's either the sim or the or the flight stick. So I'll need to diagnose off stream and, and come back tomorrow. We're gonna be doing the same thing tomorrow. Some more flight sim stuff. By the way, that was a uh, glass cockpit in with medium settings, right? How about that? All right. One last time for you guys. Yeah, see, this feels nice right now. Not fighting the plane. I can trim it out. Yeah, we're descending like a mad lad, but that's besides the point. About to stall. Wasn't even watching my speed. A little bit of an overshoot. Just short. Uh, I'm going to stall the plane. I put it into an aerodynamic stall. Uh, might be two and a half hours of hand flying planes. Losing my touch. Here we go. One more time and we'll call it, guys. I am in Courcheville. Or at least I have no idea how to pronounce that. We're somewhere in France trying to shoot a short approach. Descending. All right. Got to stop slouching, too. Gonna go wide. Lose some speed. Go wide, commit to the wide strat. Slowly boot off that airspeed. Start the turn. Try not to sink like crazy. It's right here during the turn is where I start to sink. power right now. Okay, a little bit of an overturn. Okay. Might be pretty decent here. No, I floated it again. I want it so bad. I need to slow down. Commit to the slowdown, baby. I just feel like I'm going to stall every time I hit the threshold. Oh, gosh. Commit, 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 Sky. Commit, 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 Sky. Don't be so afraid. Jesus. All right, here we go. 
Everything is good. And then I hit the threshold and I just like cut power and I think I'm going to stall, but I have too much airspeed. It's, it's the opposite. I have too much airspeed. I'm too fast. All right. Let's slow this on down, baby. Let's slow this on down. Let's slow this on down. Also, pilot fatigue is real. Just saying. Also, I see what's what I'm doing too. It's my uh, I'm doing it to myself. I'm putting the plane in a stall because of my uh, VFR settings or my uh, track IR settings. Okay, toe brakes. Jesus. All right, over half a million, but still, yikes. Yikes. 300,000 less than my last. Okay. So I think the other landing challenges are bugged because my flight stick isn't doing that thing over there. Those last two, something was up there. Didn't like my track IR or the combination of the flight stick. Um, let's get one more of those and we'll call it. The grind for Emily continues. Here we go. Although flight, I mean, I've been been grinding this, trying to get it going. Clearly, I'm tired. So, one more for you guys, because you guys are amazing. Thank you for watching. Seriously, really appreciate it. But I'll say all my goodbyes in a moment. We're flying some plane. Here we go. First thing I want to do is just slow down, right? And the rate of descent is too much, right? First of all, let's get situated. There we go. There's the runway right there. Okay, let's pitch for some speed. That's good right there. Still too low. Yikes. All right, cool. 
We know we can do better. We cracked a 930 something one little rip, so we got to get some rest. We got to rejuvenate, not be streaming for three hours. But it is all vibes. It is all vibes. I'm actually having a blast playing this game. Thank you and welcome aboard. Make sure we uh, support them for putting this out. This game has been great. Yes, the sky is calling. I am calling to you guys to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Thank you so much for joining me on this Friday stream. This has been awesome. I will be here tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, but I'll be here on Twitch and YouTube, either streaming Rocket Arena and or Flight Simulator. Um, let me know how you guys like the stream. Thank you to the new followers. Really appreciate you guys. Stug, Nuss, all you guys. Even the people who are popping in and out. Thank you so much. If you could share the stream, share the link, share whatever. Help the channel grow because the streams are much more exciting when I can talk to you guys and when you can talk to me. Is it not fun? I think so. I think that was a good stream. Um, tomorrow we're going to be... I think tomorrow we're going to do one of the uh, the bush, bush flights. I practiced that a little bit earlier off stream. That was fun. Definitely need to hit the like... Um, get me on track a bunch because I get distracted and also I just get lost um, getting used to that aircraft. Um, flight sim is a ton of fun. I'm definitely flying some plane. I need my throttle quadrant. I need it. I desperately need it. Guys, make sure you tune in tomorrow, okay? And make sure you drop a like. Make sure you drop all that stuff. I'm going to get out of here. You guys have been amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we'll be here tomorrow. I think that's all I got. Y'all take it easy, okay?